So while I was eating, I realized I never explained in this video what exactly these are. So this is a uh, um, hydraulic shop press that's just from Harbor Freight. It comes with the bottle jack and all this, this whole frame um, pre-made. So all you have to do is bolt it together. And that's really great because otherwise you're gonna have to build some sort of frame yourself. And that's either gonna involve buying angle iron and drilling a bunch of holes through really thick metal, or it's gonna involve um, a really robust wooden construction, which could be expensive. Anyway, it's a lot of trouble and this is actually quite reasonable. So it's just a six ton central hydraulics shop press and there's two of them. So that's what those are. So <clears throat> what I decided I'm gonna do is I have this piece of scrap here, um, which isn't quite long enough. I think that's okay. Let's see, it's, it's, a, oh, it's actually quite long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it wide, right? And I'm going to cut notches in it for this to drop in. And that way I can use this sheet here because there's all this extra material to build onto for creating the whole rest of the table and all that stuff. So I'll use that. So let's get, let's get started and I'll figure this out. Figure it out. And pencil. A. Now I'm back basically to where I was before. I've got this press laying down with these attached to it. All I gotta do now is drill more holes so I can screw into the plywood and then put concrete anchors in so this does not fall off. So since there's less wood to screw in now, um, I'm going to be doing 
uh, trying to use two concrete anchors per side instead of just the one. And I may try to use something different. I'm going to attempt to use a ram set to drive two inch nails into the concrete. I've pre-drilled the concrete um, to reduce the chance that it will crack because this is not reinforced concrete. I'm sure if it was the fiber reinforced concrete then this would go a lot smoother. So since it's not, we'll see how it goes. This did not turn out very well at all. It seemed to work at first, um, and in fact it worked for one whole board. What it actually did is, um, even though I pre-drilled, it still caused the concrete to crack. And once the concrete cracked, the crack just spread, and it just made a whole big mess. The other thing the ram set did is when you fire in the nail, it uses so much force that it actually broke the glue seam between the concrete and the plywood. So it cracked the press, and it detached the press from its backing. Uh, in the end, it just ended up basically not working at all. What I should have done is, back when I was pouring this first half of the press, I should have put the rebar in there, and put the reinforcement. And to that reinforcement, I should have connected threaded rod. I could have welded it, or bolted it to it, or however I wanted to do it. Um, but have that threaded rod stick up out of the concrete. That way, after it's all cast and poured, I have threaded rod that I can use to securely bolt it down to whatever backing I need. And it would be a lot more convenient than drilling holes through steel and through concrete. And, um, and it would be really secure. So, in the future, I'm going to do that. So now, back to the video. Now for the ram set. From the two inch nail. Washer. Looks good. All right, here we go. Ram set worked. So go from here to the dolly. So move this over there where it's more open and you can work on that.
now this is all functionally one piece. So I could easily take this and add legs to it, add the tabletop to it, and um, turn it into what I'm hoping to turn it into. So here's what I've come up with so far. I'll glue these down, um, staple them and screw them, oh, not that side, this side first, on all the corners. These are 12 degree angles, same as these. So that should give the whole thing a wide enough base to where the fact that it's top heavy, heavy won't make it um, stupidly unsafe. And so I'll put all these on. Then I'll put a plank going this way and the connectors going that way. And that should be enough to make it so that this will be able to hold up <laughs> 300 pounds or so. So let's, let's go for that, see how that goes.
It took quite some time, but it looks like it's done. The last thing to test is going to be if the press lowers all right. So let's test that out. Unfortunately, the sides are a little obstructed. Look at that. Look at that. Oh boy. So, the one thing I do need to do is to build a tabletop that goes on here. That'll be easy. It'll just be a piece of wood. I can do that separately. Um, I'm going to have it, I think, just index in, the, in this spot here. So there's the work table, so I can work here, I have my glue all laying up, I kind of flipped over, I have enough space to do that, and the laying up, gluing up, the next side down, it's perfect. Then, here it goes, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So it's done. Okay, so that's it. The whole setup is finished and ready to go. So check out the next video where I'll be pressing up a board using this. Longboard technology, over and out. It's almost two o'clock in the morning.